friends? It looks like there's a new police station in our town. And look right next to it. There are so many police cars there, and they're here every single day. These police cars, oh, they take care of everything in our town. They patrol the streets, the squares, the parks, the train stations, and any highway that you and your parents would drive on. Many other places in our city, too. Also, these cars are used by the police to drive so fast right to any incident that's going on. However, for everyone else, the speed limit in our town is 40 miles per hour. But what's this? A car that's clearly moving way too fast. We better go chase it see if we can't catch a criminal. Here we go. So close! We've almost got him! Hooray! We caught up to this criminal. Now I think we need to have a talk with him to let him know that he cannot break the speed limits on our roads. Not in my town. Not in Bambo's town. Now that we've caught him, let's keep going to patrol our city. Look! What's that over there? It looks like this car is broken down on the side of the road. We should help him. That's what the police do. Let's call a tow truck. lost control and flew off the road right into a ditch. But it looks like our police cars can't get down there, so what do you think we should do? Can we get down there to help? You are so smart, that's right. This is why we have our police monster trucks. Come on, guys. We need our police monster truck to help. This car was in an accident. He fell off the road. We better help him by pushing him right back onto the road. blue car. Did he just run a red light? I think he's going too fast too. Well, before we have time to think, we better go on a chase.
Hello, friend! A new police station has appeared in our town just some time ago. And a lot of police cars can be seen next to it every single day. These police cars are always patrolling the streets, squares, parks, train stations, highways, and any other place you can think of. Assemble it together and learn what parts make it up. We start by assembling the base of our police car. Usually police cars are painted black and white. Let's put four wheels on our car. Let's put the seats in for our police officers. We've got four of them in our car. Next part we assemble is the doors. Two of them on one side, your right, two of them on the other. On the roof of our police car, we set up a special warning unit. Flashing unit. to be as safe as possible at any time of day or night. We should set the lights. Front one. And then the rear ones. Finally, we set the front protection on the car. Hooray! Our police car is ready! Now it's time to get back to our duties. They are going to patrol our city. It looks like the speed limit in our town is about 40 miles an hour. Wait, what was that? Uh, it looks like here's our first wall breaker. The path is going way too fast. station and a fire station. But what's this? 
Here's an intruder. The maximum speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Hurry up and go in pursuit of the offender. of the highway. Come on, let's get him fast. Unbelievable! During the chase there was an accident. It's necessary to figure out what happened. Thanks to the video surveillance cameras, we can do it without any difficulty. The intruder was moving in the direction of the highway police cars were behind him. When he was leaving the city, he began to overtake the green car. But at this point, one wheel ran over a loose section of the road, and the intruder went into a skid, and they collided. Oh no! Two police cars had to slow down and drive around the accident site. Ooh, and two cars are on fire! services are in place. It's time to get to work. The police block off traffic and firefighters extinguish the cars. does not want to give in. We need to call in the reinforcements. say goodbye. Come and visit me more often. Like this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>